we are going to find the probabilities indicated where, as always, z denotes a standard normal random variable. So we're going to find the probability that z is less than 1.48, and we're going to have to find the probability that z is less than negative 0.25. Now, we're going to do it in two ways. Um, we're going to use a table, but I'm also going to show you how to use Excel to find these values. So let's use our tables. So the table and Excel both give us the probability that Z is less than um, whatever value we're given. So all we've got to do is use our table properly or use our Excel function properly, and we'll get the answers to these. Now, when we get to greater than and we get to numbers in between, we'll see we have to do a little bit more. But for Z less than 1.48, we're going to go to the table in our book. And um, if you're not sure how to get to the table, um, I want to actually let me go backwards here for a moment. And I have blown things up so we could see the table better. And that doesn't help us a whole lot. Let me. So as I said, I've zoomed out. So the buttons are really, really big over here on the left. And I'll move my thing out a little bit here. So we're just going to click on tables. And tables, um, when you click on it, is going to lead you to the tables in our book. But um, Since I've sort of blown up the screen so we can see the table better, this is much bigger than you're going to see it when you first go through. So what we're looking for is the standard normal tables. Notice this one's binomial probability, which we'll get to a little bit later. Um, but we want to find the standard normal tables. Cumulative binomial, and there we go. Cumulative normal probability is the one we're looking for. Now we had to find when z is the probability that z is less than 1.48. So I'm going to go down on my table and notice that these z values are negative. So I need to find where the z values are positive. That's here. All right. So here's 1.4. And then I have to go over to this column where the 8 is. So 1.4 going all the way across 8. 1.48 will be this column. Point, the probability is 0.9306. Alright, 0.9306. Now, I'm also going to show you how to get this same probability using Excel. The table is rounded off, and Excel will be actually a little bit more accurate than table because the table is to four decimal places. So in Excel, we can go to Excel. We can use any cell. It doesn't matter what cell. So I could go over here somewhere, and we're going to type equal norm.s.dist, and it sort of sort of gives you the clue as you're going through. Um, and then we want parentheses, and the number that we had was 1.48, followed by the word true. And that probability is 0 0.930563. Now, a moment ago when we used the table, we got 0 0.9306. You can see that it's just this decimal rounded. Um, so depending upon what you're wanting in your homework, um, one of these may be a better um, use than the other. Now let's also go find the probability that z is less than negative 0.25, our other one. Since we're here, let's use this one first. Norm.s.dist, and it was negative 0.25 for our second probability, and I'll put the word true. And it tells us it's 0 0.401294. Now, we'll expect that the table is going to give us 0 0.4013, but let's go back to the table to see. Now, I was on the positive side of the table, so I'll go back up to the negative side, and I've got to find negative 0.25. All right, so here's negative 0.2. Let me see if I can get the upper half of that table showing. Eh, maybe... I may have to make it a little smaller. Okay, so I had to adjust it for us to see the top of the 
table, but we had negative 0.25 as the z value, so negative 0.2, and we have to go over to where the 5 is, and let's notice that is exactly what we thought it would be from having used the Excel document 0 0.4013. So let's notice that any time we are trying to find the probability that z is less than something, we can go to our normal probability table and find it. Um, or we can go to Excel and find it directly off of the table or off of Excel. You notice it always gives the probability of the left side, so less than z.